What is the funniest, weirdest or most repulsive thing you have ever overheard someone say? Overheard is not the right word. Couldn't ignore is closer. A guy in a very expensive suit was walking through a parking lot. Pee off. Screaming into a cell phone. There's been a crew there for a week and no work is done. I need you to light a fire under that guy's butt. Then he tripped on one of those concrete tire stops at the end of a parking space and did a full on facaplant straight into the black top. He never put his hands out in front of himself to break his fall. He held his phone right to his ear and he never stopped bitching out the guy he was talking to all the way down. Honestly, the other guy probably didn't know this guy had just blasted his face and his $800 suit straight into the pavement. Just splat, tripped but bitching all the way down. And all the time he was rolling around in his business suit trying to get back up and the whole time he walked away. He didn't miss a single beat. Not me, though. I was laughing so hard I couldn't breathe. I can't believe you expect the guy in the 10 million dollar suit to stop bitching because he stubbed his face. Come on. Well of course I don't like killing kids, but at the same time I should be allowed to enjoy an adult privilege from time to time. I eventually realized he meant second hand smoke. This 80 year old lady I used to work with was a really old horn dog. I overheard her once say it doesn't get loose. You just have to squeeze it. The man she was talking to nodded knowingly. Then she says I'm squeezing it right now. I was in the checkout line at the grocery store and a boy around 8 years old was asking his mom to buy him something and she said no. He muttered under his breath, I will kill you someday. I was in Wilkes with my mate and two little old ladies were in front. Next thing we hear is this humongous fart and from nowhere this little old lady just says I thought that one was going to be silent. I could have died. Towards the end my granny would fart when she walked sometimes. Her stock comment was that'll be the salad. Old people rock. Yesterday, church, little girl behind us, loudly whispering, mom, mom, mommy, my underwear, my underwear is stuck in my butt, in my butt crack, mom. One time at a midnight Christmas mass, my two year old walked out into the aisle and stood there, confused, I said quietly come back over here and he said, leave me alone, I'm pooping. I was in driver training and when the teacher stopped talking we heard a girl at the back say, no, I think you're confusing incest with animal pee. Seems like my kind of girl, too bad we're not related. When I worked at Walmart, I was in the break room and a trailer for the first Hobbit film played on the TV. A co-worker watched it and then complained that it was a blatant ripper for Lord of the Rings. Well, that's basically all the Hobbit movies were. Blatant and unapologetic milking of the mass popularity of the Lord of the Ring films. Walking past a couple of high school kids a while back. Kid 1. What are the best type of squirrels? Kid 2. Annoyed the plural of squirrel is squeen. Bro. I don't know why but the seriousness in which he said it just tickled me. I love squeen. I'm going to suck the dong clean off Dan when he gets in. An attempt at a whisper from one girl to another. Safe to say we heard and made her intentions known. Dan was happy though. Once was eating in a cafeteria in college and a girl at the table says well. I need to pee. Gonna go juice the taco and see you guys later. Never heard the term juice the taco since. Never heard that one. I think I'll use it the next time I tell my husband I have to pee. My GF confused the words narcolepsy and necrophilia while talking about her pet rabbit that slept a lot. It was pretty shocking at first. Dude I used to work with always talked in a low voice and sometimes it'd be extra low and or mumbly. And if you don't understand or hear and ask him to repeat it, he'd just yell out. I said suckin dong makes you deaf. That's hilarious. One of my mom's work friends asked me to come over and help her while she was preparing for her kid's third birthday party. She had set him up by the TV and played some kind of child learning video to keep him distracted while we cleaned and made food. She went over to him, kid's name was Adam, and started asking him little questions about the video. What color was the sky what color is a school bus things like that. Not even 10 minutes later Adam gets up and walks to the back room. I walked over to grab some plates off the shelf and I hear Adam in the bathroom talking to himself in this deadpan hilarious mocking tone. What colors an apple Adam red? Good Adam I couldn't stop laughing. 
He's going places. Give that kid a mic. The 31st of August, 1997 myself, my roommate, and some friends are celebrating our return to college with a large number of beers. Someone walks in to tell us that Princess Diana had died. Complete silence until my passed out roommate awakens to say, good I hated that B then promptly passes back out. Couple playfully bickering in store, woman says, fine, have it your way, why don't you just slap me and get it over with he says, I would but don't want to walk around the mall with an erection. I hope they stay happily together for 50 years. I was at Gen Con this year and I walked past a pretty heated, nerd rage fueled argument. I heard one man say to the other, you look like someone who would be pee off about Firefly's cancellation. For some reason it just seems to have so many implications. So I was taking an EMS class a few years ago and we would do mock scenarios for mass casualty incidents. Basically there is a tridge system in place for when you have a bunch of victims and not much time to help them. It goes from green, basically okay, to black, dead or about to die. So I'm the first responder to a mock car crash that has 4 people in it. I open the door to find the driver, the black guy in class, hunched over the wheel. I check for a pulse and the instructor says you find no pulse. So I start to pull him out to get to the guy in the back seat. That is when the instructor says good. He's black. He doesn't get any help. Both me and the black guy just stop and look up at him for a second before he realizes what he said and we just lose it. We were laughing so hard we had to stop the scenario. I was at a bar sitting outside and there was a group of girls sitting near me having a conversation. Suddenly I overhear one of them start describing something that repulses me to this day. She apparently had a boyfriend who was on tour in a band. She said while he was away she started having really cramps and she wasn't sure if it was her period or she had to poop. She went to the bathroom and something bloody fell out of her. She wasn't sure what happened and was freaked out by it so she, this is where it starts to get absolutely disgusting, scoops it out of the toilet and puts it in a ziplock bag to show her boyfriend when he got back from tour. She said she took it to his grandma to show her because she was still confused and grandma told her it looked like she'd probably had an early miscarriage. Then she ended up putting it in a desk drawer to present to her boyfriend and forgot about it for a few months until it started to smell. Apparently she and her friends even had a nickname for it. She told the whole story loud enough that I could hear it loud and clear from 10 feet away in a mildly crowded area. The memory of overhearing that still grosses me out to this day. Holy freaking crap. I went to a Finding Dory matinee by myself. When I took my seat, I overheard the old biddy behind me say to her friend, Isn't it awful they just let them come into a movie like that? For the record, I'm a 40 year old man so I'm guessing she thought I was there for something other than the Pixar animation. This probably comes under all three. Two women in the city center, and a young girl of about 12 who is in a wheelchair. The woman proceeds to sit on the girl, in the wheelchair's, knee. She told her to get off, to wit the woman responded shut up, you can't even feel your legs anyway. Had a friend that was starting to date in the town she'd just moved to. She went on a date with a marine where he proceeded to tell her that she was prime breeding stock and he would be happy to procreate with her. That was their only date. My god, my freshman roommate would say the same thing. He would go off on how his grandfather said he was like a prized greyhound that had to be bred. He would constantly hit on my girlfriend and pull alpha male crap. He was all talk though. He gave himself a concussion tying his shoes. I was at a football game and two of the people by me were talking about how much one of them had to pee. He didn't want to go to the bathrooms because the line was so long and the bathrooms were pretty dirty. So they were debating whether he should just go right there in the stands. He decides that yes, he should. He asks his friend to stand over him so that he can pee discreetly. He begins peeing into a coke bottle. And it's not very discreet. It turns out that the bottle still had a lot of soda in it. Meaning that the pea coke mixture quickly overflows all over his pants. And also drips onto the nachos he had set on the ground while he did his business. The two guys said a lot of things. But in regards to the nachos the guy who peed said, Dang, my nachos are ruined too. Then the second guy said, Hey, I'll eat them if you don't want them. Nachos the pee pee. Yesterday. 
In the town center, some guy was handing a gym flyer to two girls. As they walked away, one asked the other, does he think we're fat? The other replied I'm eating advent calendar chocolate at lunchtime in October, so probably. Self-awareness is almost always funny. I repost this every time this question comes up because I still laugh when I think about it. Forgive me but, enraged father in a parking lot getting out of the car, to his child getting out of the back, I broke a commandment for you. What a good dad, willing to covet his neighbor's wife for his son's sake. One evening some time ago, my mother walked into my little sister's bedroom to tell her good night and read a bedtime story. My little sister couldn't have been more than 3 years old. My mother walks in the room and my sister is just staring at her hands, like she's just noticed them for the first time. When my mom asked what she was doing, she looked up from her hands and told my mother, I have power in my hands, and I will use it to destroy you. She turned out okay. Two younger high school kids walking by on their way home from school. Why the frick should I listen to US? You suck dong for H. Twice. One time, in the middle of the night, my brother sat up in his bed when we shared a room as kids. Still asleep and with no later recollection of the event, he said as clearly as ever, now on to the large intestine, and lied back down. He was narrating the movement of the food inside of him. A couple months ago I was in the produce section of my local grocery store and I overheard a woman probably around the age of 40-50 very sternly on the phone say something along the lines of if you keep calling me I will go to your house with my 12 inch strap on and tear your butthole apart, you coxsucker. Well, you have to be very firm when telemarketers call your mobile number. Ham on rye. Ham on rye dang she is so hot. Old. OMG she's old. Hamon Rai was the code word some of the guys used to point out hot girls in the lobby. Said woman was in line facing the other way and did have a nice body. She was, however, in her 60s or 70s. I just thought the guy's immediate and visceral reaction was hilarious. Ah, the Cronenborg. 16 from the back, 64 from the front. I was in a store looking at something near a cash register and I didn't hear what the girl said to this guy, but his response was, oh, your butt is hanging out of your shorts so I was just you know, looking at it, I looked over and her butt was indeed hanging out of her shorts and she was frickin hot, her response was to just turn around and ignore the guy, it was awkward. Standing in line at the Vatican to go into the Sistine Chapel, the lady behind us says to the group she is with where are the other 15 chapels? I was waiting in line at a gas station for a fill up, the person at the front of the line was having troubles galore getting their card to read, we stood there for a full 10 minutes with the line only growing, a very loud and talkative woman stood behind me on her phone, from her phone conversation I learned a few things about this woman, 1. She was a college creative writing teacher. 2. She hated Ron. 3. She loved tequila. She went on about a project she had her students do one year. Bring in something ugly. Trade your ugly thing with someone else's ugly thing. Then write a homage to the other person's ugly thing. One student brought in the Chinese exchange student as their ugly thing. It made the 15 minute line worth it to hear that. That was 100% oh frick I forgot to find something. Jin Yang. You gotta do me a solid. I was in line to buy a new DVD player. The woman in front of me was having something delivered. The clerk asked for her street name she replied I don't have one I go by Shanice. I was working retail and shooting the crap with a co-worker. Super angry guy stomps past us talking on his phone. All of a sudden he screams. You took the donkey home. You don't get unemployment. So many questions. This is just repulsive. Sat behind two very normal, middle class looking 12 year olds on the bus. So, 500 right? Just to look at it when he yanks it? Yup, 500 crowns. I got a new pair of shoes yesterday, and I'm meeting him again today. He said he would give any of my friends 500 too. 500. I need more though. I wonder what he'd pay if I licked it? I was just about to talk to them when they got off the bus, and I lost them. Still wonder about that. I was in a waiting room to see a general doctor. 
Three very large women were in the room. One was very chatty about her ailments. My knees just haven't been the same since I hit 40. I think I might have arthritis or maybe tendonitis. I hope it's not a knee tumor. My brother had that. Ruined his softball life. Another said oh my hip has been horrible for a few months. I think it's miscellied or dislocated. It's been making my heels hurt so much. The third. An Oprah looking woman. Just smiled and said with Oprah level charisma. Oh come on. Let's be real. We some fat be. That's why we're hurting. My brother was at a festival. Creamfields. Where like 90% of people were on drugs. He heard these two fricked up girls talking and one said to the other. Oh I must get that abortion. Well she was at Creamfields. She probably said that after she slipped and fell. My so comes home from her long overnight shift at the year she works at. She is flustered as heck. Marizo than usual. This was a tough gig. I was a little fed up and as she angrily stomped around all flustered. I finally call her out. See. She's been getting upset and annoyed at her work constantly. And my patience was running out a bit because she tended to take it out on me. She looks me dead in the eye and just says. I had to pull a mannequin ARM out of a guy's butt and stomps off to the bathroom. I need to check this again. I say, what did you just say? From down the hall, the bathroom door opens and her head pokes out. I had to pull a mannequin ARM out of a guy's butt door slams. She gets ready for bed and comes to the room, sits down next to me, and we share a long silence. Finally, curiosity gets the better of me. So, how far? Before I can finish, she just shouts, up to the elbow. I apologize and never gave her a hard time about being mad at her job again. Nurse here, every day something is stuck in somebody's butt, living the dream. Two girls deciding between two rums at a bar two days ago. One of them asks to smell the bottles. After sniffing one she says to the other girl oh god no not that. That smells like when we lived together. Once. When I was eating alone at my university's cafeteria, I overheard a conversation between about 5 black guys. One of them was describing this girl and said something to the effect of, she got a real nice face, good body, she smart as frick, but she ain't got legs. I thought to myself that that was a really superficial judgement, but as I continued listening, it became apparent that she actually didn't have legs, as in they had been amputated above the knee. Then they began discussing the advantages of this, as it allows them to get all up in that pee. Sounds like she's really down to earth. Two women had a massive go at a gay couple saying that it's wrong to be in a gay relationship. Turns out those two women were also in a relationship. Oh I got this one. I worked in a retail computer store. We had a creepy guy that would always come in and buy parts or ask questions. We had a rather slow day when he came in for repair, so we took care of the problem while he waited. After we fixed his computer we rang up the repair and the 5-6 employees chit chatted with him across the tech counter. Conversations went something like this. Him. Thanks guys I owe you big time. If you want I can give you a copy of my P collection. US. Um no thanks we are good. Him. It's no problem. I have lots of unlimited online accounts so I have a huge collection. US. No thanks we can't really do that. Him. I have all kinds. Every type of girl. Position. Hair color. Etc. US. Thanks but no thanks. Him. These girls are hot. Well not as hot as my daughter but hot. US. Horrified faces. My aunt was yelling at one of my cousins for no apparent reason while pretty much making fun of him at the same time. She ended up daring him to say something back in a pretty snotty tone. He looks up at her and says you did such a bad job raising your first son that God took away your other child before you could frick it up again. She recently had a miscarriage and needless to say she had quite a mental breakdown after that one. It was fricking brutal. Dude was both the iceberg that sunk the Titanic and the band that went down with it. This made a lot of sense in my head. Two elderly ladies were talking and on said, yeah Gerald is better, but with Richard you don't have to work around the oxygen tubes. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video.
bye for now.